All right, so another way you can make money through fundamentals is by trading on news events. Oftentimes, if you do research, especially if you look at development in the Slack channel, you might be able to see new features that are going to be released several months in advance. Now, you might think that that might be priced into the market, but it's actually surprising that most traders just end up chasing the markets last minute as the news happens. So oftentimes smart money can get in early, accumulate when it's really, really cheap, and then wait for a major news event to hit and then sell into strength and take profit. So oftentimes traders um, are hit with a fear of missing out, also known as FOMO. And... Um, what you can do is once you've researched and you buy low, you basically just stack the order books and you just pace, patiently wait and they will buy into those order books. So let me show you an example of this. This is a project called Counterparty. And I remember buying some Counterparty down here when the price was really, really low. My reasoning for buying Counterparty was uh, twofold. So... Oftentimes what I'll do is I'll combine fundamentals with technical analysis. And so I saw that the price was really, really low and it had kind of just come down from a long bear trend. As you can see here, it had a lot of risk to reward. Uh, didn't have any new supply creation. In fact, there's this process called bur proof of burn that destroys some of the supply. But on a fundamental level, one of the reasons why I bought some of this was because I saw that they were having a developer contest. And so uh, whoever came up with the best features stood to win some money. So what that told me is that a developer contest means new features, new tech releases coming out, right? Well, what ended up happening was rumor broke out that they were integrating this other platform, the smart contract platform into it called Ethereum or the code from Ethereum. And once rumor broke out, the price went up over 500%, close to 600%. And then there was uh, another period of reaccumulation down here. So once I knew about that and it was confirmed, there was a reaccumulation period and then the price spiked up again. So it had happened twice. So even though people may have known about this and even though rumor broke out of these new features coming out, it wasn't priced into last minute. So you've got a lot of what I call last minute shoppers in the market. People who just chase news events, right? Uh, dumb emotional money essentially. And that's a, that's a technical term. I don't mean that in a derogatory way, but it's a technical term as in People who just trade purely off of emotion without any form of a strategy, right? And they tend to just buy high and sell low. So when you when you buy low, all you have to do is stack the order books, especially if you know if there's a FOMO news event, and then chances are people will buy into it. Here's another example, not as drastic, but there were a couple of news events with Ripple. As you can see here, this went up 125%. Didn't last very long. But the news was that um, they'd got a New York bit license and then a bunch of banks were using it. So every time there's kind of like these news events, you'll often see the, the market spike up as people chase. Uh, this market didn't really last because its supply distribution isn't, isn't as good. But some of the markets will actually turn into a large bull trend. So this is uh, basically a way how you can make money and trade off of news events.